guys, this is Mike here, and today's video tutorial is going to be discussing the new Magento 2.0 admin um, from a very high level. Uh, there's a lot of new features of, of Magento 2.0 that are more in the technical aspect of it, whether it's around a new file structure, new layout elements, improved performance, CSS, preprocess. There's all kinds of features, but today's tutorial is going to be that specifically of the admin, just how to kind of maybe compare this to that of the older Magento 1 versions. Um, so I have a Magento 2.0 dashboard up at the moment. As you're going to see, it's very comparable to that of the older Magento 1 versions. Um, not a whole lot has changed, just a re really an updated UI. Um, the biggest change you're going to see is the left-hand navigation over here as opposed to the, the horizontal navigation of that of Magento 1.0. Um, the other major change that you'll see is typically when you want to go through and, and update whether it's um, payment methods, shipping methods, um, and other, any other system configurations, you would typically go to system uh, configuration within um, your tab here at the very end. However, in the Magento 2.0, um, that's swapped out. You can see here, system, this is where you're going to manage your data transfers and, and just some miscellaneous other settings. Under stores though, you're going to have a lot more information here where it's going to be very specific to, to your store. As you can see, attributes and attribute sets have been added over here. Um, your tax rules and, and rates um, are here as well as your configuration. Um, just with the updated uh, UI, not much has changed here. It all has the, the sub-navigation over here. Here you can manage your taxes, your shipping methods, your payment methods, you know, Google APIs. Um, your catalog settings that you normally would, any customer settings, all that good stuff is going to be found here. Of course, you can switch between stores like you have in the past. Um, otherwise, um, it's pretty much as similar as the Magento 1.0 reporting. Um, just some additional features, but otherwise pretty straightforward. Um, content, this would be your CMS area, as you would have over here with your pages and static blocks. But here, there's, it's just called content. Uh, marketing. Your pricing, your, your promotionals that you're going to be running, um, catalog price rules, newsletters, those good things. Um, customers, pretty straightforward here as well. Products, very specific to your catalog. Um, not a whole lot has changed here either, but uh, just an updated uh, interface. And then, of course, sales. Um, this will have your orders, invoices, just, much, or just like it was in Magento 1.0. Um, so really, that's it. Just wanted to kind of cover a, a high level here. You're not going to notice a, a huge difference between um, the Magento 1 versions and the Magento 2.0. It's very straightforward. Um, and if you've used Magento 1.0 in the past or, or any of the Magento 1 versions, you're going to find that it's going to be pretty easy to switch over to um, managing your storefront um, from the Magento 2.0 um, admin. Now, with all the other changes, it's, it's going to really depend on what your store needs are. Um, so all the more technical ones, um, there might be a lot of other things to make sure that Magento 2.0 is the right direction for you to go. Um, so if you would like some more information on choosing Magento 1 version or upgrading to a Magento 2 version, um, please reach out, let me know. My contact information can be found uh, you know, below this video. I'm more than happy to answer any questions and just kind of uh, let you know what's going to be the best fit for you. But uh, if there's any other questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, thanks for uh, listening on in.